Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're doing a Farm Fresh and Fabulous collaboration, and this is going to be fun farmhouse decor. This is going to be a little bit of a twist because I'm going to do a vignette, one simple vignette, and then at the end I'm going to do all of the pieces all together. So I won't be showing you the pieces when they're finished, only at the end when I have enough for a vignette to put together. So let's get started. So this is a wooden bed riser that I got recently from Goodwill for, I believe it was a dollar, and I'm going to sand it down and use it as a riser in my vignette. So I'm going to sand it all the way around and I'm going to use my mix of antique wax that's been watered down with some black chalk paint added in just a little bit to mix it in and make it a little bit darker than the antique wax and water would be. This didn't come out the way I thought it would. I wasn't super happy with it when I wiped it back. So I'm going to do something a little bit different with this than what I thought originally. See how light it is and I just don't really like it. I wanted it a little bit darker. I'm going to have a lot of light colored things in this vignette and I wanted something a little dark to ground it. So I'm taking a folk art paint, acrylic paint, it's a black color, and I'm putting it all over this block. I let it dry thoroughly and then I am taking my sandpaper and I'm sanding it down the edges at first and then I decided to do the whole thing and just sand it down and dull that black paint. I wanted it to look distressed. So I did the edges and then right down the middle I'm adding a dry brush of plaster paint as well and just going to brush it on there to lighten it up a little bit also. And then once that is dry I'm going to take some clear wax and go over it and then wipe it back. This gravy boat is the next thing I'm going to be using in my vignette. I'm not going to do anything to it except for add some flowers. And then also this glass, it's a candle holder, but I'm going to flip it upside down and use it as a dome in my vignette. I'm taking some Spanish moss and I'm creating a little bit of a bird's nest with it, just using my fingers and rounding it out giving a little bit of a haircut so the pieces don't stick out and taking some of this sweet soft lavender and I'm going to cut a couple pieces off to use it. This pitcher is the next thing I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be using this napkin that I got last year from the Christmas tree shop and I just think it's so beautiful with this lavender display on it. So this is a two ply napkin so you're going to want to take this two plies apart and only use, of course, the picture part of the napkin. So I'm going to cut one of the squares and off the napkin and then I'm going to rip the edges so that I can make it look like it's not just a straight piece. I want it to look kind of messy and distressed and so I'm here I'm ripping around the edges, careful not to rip the actual picture of the lavender. Alright, now that I have that all ripped out, I'm going to use my Mod Podge and I'm going to add that to the back of my picture. I'm going to cover it completely and making sure that I got it on the edges as well all the way to the edge so that it will stick and stay nicely and not peel. I'm adding it to my picture and just working out the uh, wrinkles in it and any bubbles. It came out pretty well and I'm really okay with it if it gets a little bit of bubbles and wrinkles in it anyway. That way it doesn't look like a clean fresh piece of napkin. So now to make sure that this seals down very well, I am going over the top 
just the top of the picture and a little bit over the edge so that it will seal in the edges on this napkin and that'll be good to go. Now I'm just giving it a little bit of a sand, uh, some of the, the streaks of the Mod Podge, kind of dulling it down and making it look a little more distressed and aged. I like the picture the way it is, but I really wanted to add a little bit of brown accent into my vignette. So I'm taking some of this jute twine and I'm going to wrap it around the top and also the bottom of this pitcher. I'm going to go around several times and then just glue it in the back. And now for my first simple vignette, I'm going to show you how I put it together. Isn't that so pretty and simple? I love it. Okay, so here's the extension of the vignette. I'm gonna make a little bit of a bigger one. So I got these books at Dollar Tree. I think they were probably $1.25 a piece. And they're just little hardcover books with the pages are hard inside as well. And I'm just gonna make a book stack with them. I'm going to glue each book together. And then I'm going to give it a beautiful paint job with this minty green that I came up with using platinum ring gray chalk paint and a little bit of the green chalk paint. Mix those together and it came out with this really beautiful light green. I did two coats all over the book stack to make sure it was covered and then sealed it. And now I'm taking some of these rub-on letters that I got. I think somebody gave them to me. I don't even know where I got them. But I thought they would look really nice on the side of this book uh, stack. So I'm going to write blessed on the side. So this is an open collaboration of Farm Fresh and Fabulous for farmhouse decor. So much fun. I love this. 
So the host is Crafty Hints, and the two co-hosts are Rustic and Lace DIY and Six Kids and a Glue Gun. Please go down and check out my description box below. I will have their links along with the link to the playlist where all the other amazing creators will have their videos as well. So I'm going to take a little bit of my green paint, just a light dry brush across the top and kind of mute that down just a little bit so it's not so bright. Now I'm taking a little bit of white paint and I'm dry brushing over the top of the green on the books to give them a little bit of a distressed look. I don't want to sand this to distress it back because it will just go back to the colorful books below and I don't want that. So I'm just giving a little bit of white dry brush around the edges and across the top just to give it a little distressed look. To take a piece of this netting ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. They also have it on Amazon and I can put a link down in the description for you if you're interested and don't have it at your Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to wrap that around one edge, the opposite edge of the blessed word, and then I'm going to go around it with a few rolls of the jute twine just to give it a little bit of a pop of color. And I'm going to glue that down and that one's done. Now I found this church for a dollar at the flea market and I thought it was beautiful and I really love the colors on it but it's not going to really fit the vignette the way I want it to or the farmhouse decor so I'm going to take some of my platinum ring it's like a gray blue color but it's very close to white as well and I'm going to take it and do two coats all around. As you can imagine the red and the black were very bright and still came through the paint. So I did have to give it those two coats. So now I'm gonna go back in with my white chalk paint and give it a dry brush all over the church and just kind of hit the high spots and just give it a little bit of a distressed look and make it pop a little bit. I think this really helps it a lot to blend in with the rest of the vignette that I'm going to be putting together and I think it's really pretty. I just love it. giving it a quick spray seal and it will be all ready to use in my vignette. So last but not least, I have this candlestick and this candle plate from Dollar Tree that I just picked up and I'm going to glue the candlestick to the bottom of the candle plate and make a beautiful riser with it. This is going to just be just the glass. I'm not going to paint it or anything like that. I want a variety of different textures and different colors to be in this vignette and I think it all plays off well together. Now I'm going to put the vignette together for you and see what you think.
So I hope you liked all of my projects and my vignettes. I hope you like this kind of video and how I put everything together and you enjoyed it. And if you are interested in any of my projects that I've done, I will have them on my Etsy shop for you to purchase. Don't forget to go down and check out that playlist of all the awesome creators in this collaboration. Thanks for watching. Take care.